Hey everybody, it's me, Crazy Frankie, and I'd like to welcome you to my Week 14 for Key Game Picks. Now, now la before I get into my Week 14 picks, I gotta say, l last week in Week 13, it was pretty close. Pretty close for the New York Giants upsetting Green Bay. And I gotta give Green Bay a lot of credit. Their offense is just too damn good. Now, I know a lot of you are speculating, are they going to go 16-0 in the regular season? If I had to say, I'm going to say I think they are. I think they are going to go 16-0. As far as the playoffs is concerned, that's another question. No one can be certain how they'll do in the playoffs. It's another mystery that I, I, I can't explain. I mean, a lot, of the, a lot of teams have come close right now. I, I know the Giants have the only team in uh, this season that has come very close to stopping perfection. But, what can I say? This Green Bay Packer team is really good. And speaking of the Packers, along with them and the 49ers, they clinched, they clinched their respective divisions last week. Those two, pretty much the Packers and the 49ers, by the looks of it, in the NFC, they're definitely going to be the one and two seeds. And as far as seeding is concerned, I know the Saints will probably get the third seed. They're pretty much ahead by two games over the Falcons. And there's no question... No question that the fourth seed will definitely go to the NFC East, and I'll get into that. I'll get into the NFC East battle in a, in just a moment. But right now, let's get into Week 14, shall we? Now, my first key game for Week 14 is is the Houston Texans against the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, the Texans are still ahead in first place in the NFC South, but you know the Titans are they're they're getting inches closer to catching them. So obviously this is an important game for the Texans, but for the Bengals it's very important too because they lost last week to the Steelers, but they're still not out of the playoff hunt yet, as there are only two wild, there are only two spots in in the wild card. So I would say right now, if I have to look at this game, I would say with the injuries that the Texans have, I got to go with the Bengals in this one. The Bengals are healthy. The Texans' offense offense is not healthy. They already lost Schaub and Liner to season-ending injuries, and who knows how the defense will spread out? Because I, Danny Dalton so far has been playing very well the entire season, even though he couldn't play well against the Steelers. But I gotta go with the Bengals in this one, only because the Texans' offense is banged up. The Texans' offensive line is banged up, and really, they just don't. I just don't see them winning this game with a healthy Bengals offense. My second key game is the Minnesota Vikings against the Detroit Lions. Now, obviously, with all the problems the Lions are having after starting 5-0 and and then all of a sudden starting to fall apart and, of course, losing Sue to a two-game suspension. And if you watched last week's game between between the Lions and the Saints, ugh, the penalties really hurt. The penalties were big. I mean, they had over 100 yards of penalties last week, and a lot of them were personal foul penalties. Now, I don't know what's going on with that Lions team, but it is a mess. But they're playing the Vikings, and the Vikings are not that great. I mean, they had that game won last week against the Broncos, but obviously Tim Tebow's magic came back and stopped them. I'm going to say the Detroit Lions win this game, only because Minnesota Minnesota really doesn't have a lot to offer. I mean, you don't they don't have Adrian Peterson again to injury. And this is a game where the Lions, if they want to keep some hope of slim playoff hope alive, they need to win this game badly. I gotta go with the Lions in this one. The Lions' are, offense is still healthy. Matthew Stanford's Stanford's stump should be fine. I could see him throwing big in this game, so I gotta go with the Lions in this one. Lions over the Vikings. My third key game. It's the big one right here in the NFC East. It's the New York Giants against the Dallas Cowboys. Now, there's, this is no question here that whoever wins this game, I think pretty much is going to end up winning the NFC East division. I don't see either the Giants or any, anybody else trying to at least get a wild card team, even though they're still alive and trying to keep their slim playoff hopes alive. This is big, and, and this is probably the toughest game on the schedule here to pick. But I'm even though I did pick the Giants last week to beat the Packers, even though they, did, they didn't get the job done, I'm still going to pick the Giants again. This is a game where Eli Manning and the whole Giants offensive line needs to make a statement here. I cannot trust the Cowboys here. I mean, the Cowboys, they're, they're like a roller coaster. They're up and down. You don't know what to expect from them every week. 
and really the Giants they have a lot more to prove than the than the Cowboys do. I like the Giants in this one, but it'll definitely be very it'll be a very close game, and it would not surprise me if it ends up going into overtime. I will say the Giants win this one because who knows what Tony Romo is going to do, and who knows how the offense of the Cowboys is going to be in it. And who knows what kind of performance we're going to expect from Tony Romo after that embarrassing loss last week against the Cardinals. So I will go with the Giants in this one. Giants over the Cowboys. And my four-key game pick, it's the Atlanta Falcons and the Carolina Panthers. Now, like the Giants, the Falcons also have their, their, engine, their playoff holes rely a lot on this game because they really need this game badly. They're already two games behind the Saints. And I just... And this game here, they really need to step up. Even though they did, they had a heartbreaking loss last week. I still, I will still, I will, I mean, usually everybody who watches my videos, you know my fourth key game pick is always my upset pick. And I can see, I can see this as an upset here. Cam Newton played very well against the, against the Buccaneers. He beat them badly. And it would not surprise me in this game in Carolina that he does it again. This guy is just amazing, and if you look at him going into next season, you give him weapons. I guarantee you, the Panthers will be dangerous next year. But right now, I can see I can see this as an upset here. The Falcons right now they're really in a lot of trouble here, and obviously they need this game badly. But you going up against Cam Newton and his speed and endurance, I mean, he'll beat you. He he might beat you in this game. The defense has got to step up. This defense didn't get the job done last week against the Texans. I, I don't know how well they're going to do against the, against the Panthers. I mean, this is considered an upset pick here. I'm going to say the Panthers over the Falcons. Okay, everybody, that is my four key games for Week 14. We're counting down. Only three weeks to go. Three weeks left of the regular season, and it'll be playoff time. I cannot wait. So for now, everybody, I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care for now, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.